Greetings RC fans, Moodog from Moodog's Frugal RCs out in the field today with something a little different for the channel today guys. Today we have a fixed wing three channel plane by WL Toys. This is the model F949, a model of a Cessna 182 single engine uh, kind of private plane. A very cool little uh, item here guys. This can be found on eBay for as little as about $35. I'll post a link in the description for this one if you guys want to check it out. Out. but let's take a look and see what comes inside the package uh, pretty much all you see right here is package contents the only thing I don't have with me today is the screwdriver uh, that was supplied to uh, open up the back of the uh, remote the manual that this one comes with guys is kind of lackluster I'll say that up front uh, the Chinese to English translation is pretty bad in this one uh, but the pictures inside here are enough to kind of get you going and let you know what uh, uh, everything is about but we'll take a quick page through this here I kind of give you an idea what the layout looks like uh, not the most professionally done uh, but you do have a kind of diagram of the uh, remote control uh, you have the contents here so it kind of gives you an idea what's going on here but again the Chinese to English translation and some of the font is a little on the weird side there's a lot of misspellings so this one is a little on the lower tier when it comes to instruction manuals uh, from Chinese manufacturers but it gives you all the basic information that you need you just have to kind of uh, decipher it a little on your own so hang on to that for sure uh, this is coming with a uh, 3.7 volt 500 milliamp per hour 25 C discharge battery uh, I find this one to make the plane just a little on the top heavy side and I'll show you why that is in just a second uh, but that is included with the package here you're getting a two position charger uh, USB to this little charger pod here this one will charge up to two batteries concurrently red lights will be on when charging they will go out when the battery is fully charged so kind of nice it actually feels pretty decent for what it is the the remote is going to be your standard kind of quadcopter looking remote here guys nothing too flashy nothing too fancy all your trim functionality is going to be uh, on the top here and then on the sides uh, we have uh, up and down here's your throttle up and down you also have a gyroscope so basically uh, this will self right itself in the air so you want to think of this stick here not only as your throttle but also kind of a roll feature if you're thinking about a quadcopter so the plane will roll a little bit aileron up and down and then your rudders left and right uh, so it does fly pretty nice pretty easy not a whole lot of learning curve on this one uh, so very very nice uh, we have a LCD display here it's just going to give you your basic information on your trims uh, your throttle input things like that nothing critical uh, but this one is going to require some batteries guys six double A batteries so I know if it looks weird uh, they all they're all brand new batteries just leftovers uh, but that being said guys let's take a look at the plane the plane itself is all real nice resilient foam. The only parts that are going to be user installed are going to be the fixed wing and that's just one screw right here that's included in the kit. Um, underneath here we have our landing gear as well. Now I lost one of the pieces of landing gear. There's actually a single front wheel and then the two double wheels that go in the back but I lost that in the field first time taking this up. Your battery compartments right here guys. You just sw uh, swivel this little toggle here and this piece of plastic will come up to reveal the battery compartment. I've been using 3.7 volt, 380 milliamp per hour batteries, a little bit lower in the capacity, but also a little bit lighter. And they kind of counteract that front heaviness of the 500 milliamp per hour uh, included cell that comes with this. So uh, let's go ahead and get a battery in here, get this thing powered up and take it for a flight. Alright guys, we're going to do a hand launch today. I don't have any runway area here and like I mentioned before, I'm missing part of the landing gear here. So I'll go ahead and do a hand launch. Uh, we already got the battery installed in here. There is no power switch so it's basically just plug and play. The remote is turned on right now guys and ready to go. Uh, everything is bound up. You can see the kind of uh, little kind of telemetry screen there letting us know what uh, what's going on. But we're bound up, ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and get this thing in the air. All right, guys, we are underway with the WL Toys F949. Those of you out there that uh, are familiar with my channel, have been with me for a while, uh, may have seen a couple of the WL Toys ground vehicles that I featured. This kind of falls in the same category as Great Bang for the Buck. Uh, this is my first ever plane, first ever plane on the channel. Uh, and I have to say that the learning curve from quadcopter to this plane is extremely easy almost zero. 
Another kind of cool feature about this one, guys, is you're not going to get tired of it, I don't think, anytime real soon. Uh, I'm already starting to think about getting planes uh, on the channel going forward, but I think this one is going to fill uh, a niche for a while with me. Uh, you can see it does some pretty cool maneuvers. Uh, I think with a fully charged battery and some better skills, you could probably get some power dives and some pretty big loops with this one as well. Uh, but kind of nice feature with this is it does have two speed rates. Uh, the first rate is going to be low, and we're dealing with kind of a more docile uh, flying characteristic at that point uh, slower speeds uh, something for indoors perhaps or even for the outdoor uh, on a nice windless day you want to take your kid out or a youngster out and teach them to fly I think that's a good speed to learn on uh, but switching it up into high speed you can see uh, that this does some pretty cool maneuvers even though I'm a novice at this yet it's still fun to uh, do some heavy banks and and some dives and things like that and uh, it's quite rewarding and quite a lot of fun Alright guys, that's going to pretty much wrap this video up for today. Um, as you can see, uh, this thing flies really, really nicely. Um, it's easy to fly, again with the zero learning curve. Anybody out there that's a uh, quadcopter pilot wants to take up planes, easy, easy, easy. Even if you've never flown a plane before or a quadcopter, just want to get into the RC hobby, I think this is a great first choice. I'm having a blast with it. I really recommend this one. That's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you all in the next one. And God bless the Republic.